Aloha, my name is Mopua Kan. I am a Hawaiian cultural practitioner of mixed tribal heritage here by invitation to share with you some of what I have learned here on my spiritual home of Moku Okeave, Hawaii Island. And I'd like to begin with a chant. This chant is traditionally spoken for the beginning of things. And since this is my first interview here with my dear Marion and friends, I will share this chant with each of you as it was taught to me. Excuse my my wobble here for a moment. I am a self-proclaimed multidimensional mermaid. So Thank you. don't worry if things <laughs> wave and wobble. That's just part of my life. <laughs> and uh, I know you're not worried anyway, because you're watching this. So you're a person of, um, shall we say, flow. Eho mai, many people translate as bring to me, as if it is a command. What the ancestors have shared with me is that eho mai actually means here now, I open to receive. So it's a way of becoming a clear channel and vessel for receiving. And what are we asking to receive? We're saying we're open to receiving eho mai, ike mai, ike mai. We're, we're asking to receive the ancient knowledge. And the way that I understand that is it's the wisdom that transcends all time, all space, all apparent differences, all illusion of separation and duality. We're asking to receive ancient knowledge. And in this chant, it says the sacred hidden meaning of the songs, na mele, the songs. Na is the way in Hawaiian language, olelo Hawaii, that we make things plural. So mele is song, and na mele are these songs. And the songs can be literal. You might want to understand the meaning of Hawaiian songs, but it can also be metaphorical, meaning I ask to receive the ancient knowledge, the sacred hidden meaning of the songs of life. I'm singing a song right now to you by living, by breathing. You're singing a song to me. And sometimes in line at the grocery store or driving down the road, I might not very much like the song you're singing because it doesn't feel harmonious with where I think I'm going. But when I chant this chant, what I'm doing is saying, Forget that ego part. Let me leave that at the door. Whatever I'm about to begin, I'm going to ask that I understand your song so that I can harmonize with it or so that I can depart from it with love, with aloha. Sometimes the most loving response is no when that's our truth and we're following our bigger yes. So, eho mai. You'll hear me repeat these words of the chant three times. Each time I'm going up about half an octave. Okay. <laughs> so please allow yourself to take four deep breaths, your life breath of ha, in through your nose and out through your mouth with the sound of the ocean. Thank you. 
ke mai luna mai e o na me a akuna no yo o na mele e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai o na e ho mai e ho mai e ho And with that, we leave at the door. Anything and everything that is not a contribution to what we now begin. The first breath of the next chapter in our lives. Ah. And even our four-legged friends were chanting. <laughs> And I'd now like to share with you a poem that came through me in the summer, summer solstice, June 21st on the Gregorian calendar, which doesn't do the best job of telling us what time it really is by the stars, which is more what I choose to connect with. These days, learning about the moon, telling me what time and what day it is. More on that later. June 21st, 20, no, 2008, 2008, this came through me in English before I came to my spiritual home here on Moke Okeave, but it reminded me it came through again in 2018 when the lava was flowing here in a very big way, covering over 2,000 homes, actually. And I was under the stars that night in 2018, praying in my way, asking, how may I help those who are losing, a feeling that they're losing so much? And how may I be of service? And the message I received is share your poem, share your poem. So I went to different friends' homes and I shared with them what I'm about to share with you. And the name I've been given until I translate this poem into Olelo Hawaii as I learn more and am able to speak it in its, what I feel is its true language of earth, is the name is Our Godness, not goddess or God, not male or female, but Our Godness, the spark of life that we each carry within us as long as we choose to, and that is a choice. We could all check out any time from this earthwalk dream if we choose to no longer have that will to live inside us. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. You might know that song too, right? Well, we're letting it shine. And one vehicle through which it's shining is through Marion and through the digital pathways through which this might be finding your ears and your eyes. But more so, we're actually connecting through the heart. So for you, here is our godness as it first came to me. And uh, it comes with some movement, so I'm going to stand up. My God is everywhere. 
and I make magic with my friends. I am free. <sighs> Soul family swoops in, catches, cradles, sends. As my very womb confirms that I am free, red blood, anger, strength, truth, love, stretches down, down, down into the deep red womb of my mother, earth, uh. hot, wet, molten juices, pregnant with mountains, yet unborn, and I am free already born here and head down ready to be reborn into the even deeper me i am free and you will see just what that means as i unwrap this present as i unwrap this present moment that god has entrusted me to share our god our godness our goddess, our godness is everywhere. And we make magic here, my friends. Mahalo. And we do. A pull my cutting. Blessings here now. The true way in Olelo Hawaii to say you're welcome is not one that separates you from me. The true answer to mahalo, as I've been given it from my teachers and the ancestors, is a pull my cutty, a pull my cutty. And I thank you in that mahalo, a pull my cutty way. Deep appreciation I have for each of you, all of you listening, and all of you yet to listen who now are listening because you're hearing my words. Thank you, mahalo. We are one. And the time has come for us to know this and remember from deep within.